This could be the way a police officer pulls you over. Can I please see your license and registration? And hands you a ticket. Go Between is one of the featured robots at the Robo Business Conference in Silicon Valley. It's just a proof of concept, but it does demonstrate how robots can take on serious issues, like the thousands of traffic stop assaults that happen to police officers in the U.S. every year. This is not new technology. What's new is putting it all together for this application. So this is essentially FaceTime at the end of a long pole. A microphone, a barcode scanner to scan the back of their license so the officer isn't typing it in. Uh, signature pad. So for your average traffic stop, this has everything you need to do, including the printer to actually print the hard copy of the ticket. Waypoint Robotics is showing how its autonomous and wireless charging robots can move in any direction with precision. These robots incorporate sideways sliding concepts that originated on Navy ships in order to turn munitions around. If you want to interface with a work cell or another piece of equipment or uh, a particular part of your um, warehouse or your factory, being able to approach that work cell or that piece of equipment from any orientation is a huge advantage. And Waypoint doesn't just make little robots. They just introduced the Mavic, which can move 3,000 pounds or 1,360 kilograms. It has the same autonomous and omnidirectional technology that can move pallets, heavy equipment, or even people. And if I need to get off, I can just hit this stop button. Creating a robot that can adapt to different environments is the goal of Shanghai and Silicon Valley headquartered Flexiv. With the ability to sense force, the Ryzen robotic arm maintains balance even when it's being pushed from different directions. You cannot have the tiny arrow on the production line because that tiny arrow already will make the entire production line shut down. So once you introduce something like the, uh, the robot have some tolerance, you have some activity, so robot can overcome those uncertainty. Ryzen's force control even allows it to give massages. But despite industry advances, even the most sophisticated robots are still limited. The human hand is so complex and, and so good at grabbing all sorts of items that we see a lot of researchers trying to say, how can we take this hand and create that kind of grabbing and grasping. But there's billions and billions of different objects out there, and so not one kind of approach is what will work for every kind of product. Shaw says the industry is still pursuing what he calls the holy grail, getting grasping capable robots on mobile platforms so they can be deployed to pick out items and then transport them to wherever needed. Mark New, CGTN, Santa Clara, California.